What is going on guys? Welcome back to JG Gaming Network and you see it on the screen the newly turned heel James Ellsworth faces uh, this guy that I've never heard before Kid Karma and You know what? I will take it though. It is a different match than Seth Rollins or John Cena You know no disrespect to them both. They are both very good but we have been facing them over and over and over again that it is good that I am getting a fresh face. By the way, this is the week of the Battleground pay-per-view here on 2K17's My Career Mode. So what we're going to do... Uh-oh, we think there's going to be a cutscene. Oh no, that's James Ellsworth's new entrance. And if you look... At that he said that he is aligning himself with the authority the authority has not responded yet and James Ellsworth looks like he is literally taking this thing a little too far he's got the Triple H t-shirt on and Titan Tron and he also has some new music and he seems to have fireworks as well so apparently he's taking this thing like I said previously a little too far I think I think he's push. I, I think he's believing in himself a little too too much. You know, he has had a rocky start. He's gotten some big wins, but has also lost quite a few big matches that you know he needed to win in. I want to see this kid Karma entrance because, uh, like I said, I've never heard of this person before. <laughs> oh my god! You know what? Oh my god! This is probably one of the invasion ang or or the um. Uh, friends invasions where if you are online and your friends play this too like their characters will come in I'm starting to think that's what this is now who I don't know but James Ellsworth takes on Kid Karma right now and if this is in fact one of my buddy's creations James Ellsworth is going to prove to him that hey buddy you're still a little you're a scrub James Ellsworth's running to him and starting off with a running forearm and a kick to the upper back. Good way to get stuff started. By the way, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing pretty well. I decided to play some WWE 2K17 today. Play some James Ellsworth's My Career Mode. I want to get to the Battleground pay-per-view um, and see what's in store. I'm trying not to get in into a rivalry at all until after the Money in the Bank pay-per-view because I'm hoping... That I get put in the Money in the Bank match. That way I can actually, you know, go after some titles. This guy is fucking souped up. He's got five finish or five reversals. I got four. And his damage is pretty good. And stomping away at the arm of Ellsworth. Come on. Oh, and running forearm of his own. And this is not a good start for Ellsworth in the middle of the ring. There's nothing he can do right now but hope for a reversal as he gets right there. And he's going to go up and try to friggin' suplex uh, Karma, but once again, a reversal. Once again, Ellsworth getting absolutely nothing. He's getting demolished right now. But he's going to reverse again. Irish up into the corner. A knee to the, a knee to the stern. I'm going to stomp away at him. Okay, this is a, this is not the way I don't think Ellsworth wanted to go so far. But he's got a DDT. Trying to beat down his opponent a little bit. And he's going to go for an instant. Connects. That was nasty. Ellsworth's trying to stay on the offense as, offensive as, soon as, as much as he possibly can. Because he doesn't want to give Karma any time. Because as it says in his name, I'm pretty sure Karma's a bitch. No matter which way you look at it. He's standing up, and we get a neck breaker up and over. Uh, Karma Ellsworth goes. And we're going to taunt to the crowd. Ellsworth is like, what the hell, man? You're not cheering for me? He's like, you know what? I don't care. I don't need your support. But once again, Karma's we're going to reverse this. And Ellsworth has to roll out. <laughs> Karma already has a signature. What is Ellsworth going to do? Ellsworth running at Karma. Misses. Runs away. Not enough in a suplex to Ellsworth from Karma. Getting Ellsworth up here. And Irish whip into the ring post. 
Oh, trying to smash his head off the uh, ring post, but not successful in his attempts and rolling him back in the ring. Karma rolls Ellsworth back into the ring is what I meant to say. And another reversal by Ellsworth. And a sliding clothesline to the stomach goes Ellsworth. And he's going to stomp away, try to get that signature as quickly as possible, getting Karma up. Look at that blue hair. And... Oh, ducks the half Nelson suplex and clotheslines Ellsworth. And Ellsworth's out of reversals, so he has to hope that... No, this is not good. This is not good. Irish whip into the corner. We are both out of reversals, and he has the upper hand. There's nothing I can do. Stomping away. Uh-oh. Beating down Ellsworth. What is he going to do here? This is an oh-my-god moment. What is he... What is Karma doing? Oh, drive by a little homage to Roman Reigns, and I believe that might be enough to put Ellsworth away. One. Nope, only kicks out of one. Very surprising there. But he's going to just beat down Ellsworth right now. Karma is staying on the attack. Once again, Ellsworth with no more reversals. Ugh. Ellsworth trying to stretch out that shoulder. I think Karma did some damage to it. Karma getting back to his feet. Ellsworth trying to stay on the offensive here with a snap suplex connects. Going into a pin attempt, but it's a rope break. Come on, get that signature. We need that signature. We got the signature. Get him up. We're going for the half Nelson suplex right now. And the half Nelson suplex connects. And this might be enough to set Karma up for the Ellsworth driver. It will connect. Will that be it for Karma in this match? And here's the pin. One, two, and a kick out at two. Pretty, qu pretty quick after two he kicked out. Ellsworth's finally getting some getting some momentum on his side. And a running forearm, keeping Karma down. He's getting Karma back up to his feet. And what's he going to do here? A double arm suplex. This one into a pin attempt. Here's the pin. One. Two. And a kick out at two. Getting Karma back to his feet yet again. And what's he going to do here? He's going for the same move again, but this time he's just going to let it let it just connect and not go for the cover. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun announcing this match. This match. Rock from uh, Ellsworth there. One. Only a one count. And a kick to the back, but Karma hulks up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not good. And a pump handle slam, I believe that is. That might be it for Ellsworth here. He's setting Ellsworth up for whatever his move is. But Ellsworth reverses. And he's going for another half Nelson suplex. No, it's reversed. And once again, Karma. Double or under... Double underarm suplex, getting Ellsworth to his feet. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, a Pele kick to Ellsworth. That might be it. One. And a one count is all it takes for Ellsworth to kick out. What an amazing match so far. As Karma's trying to figure out what he has to do to put Ellsworth away. I think Kid Karma was expecting a, a not so much of a fight from Ellsworth. Probably expecting a lot of cockiness, but Ellsworth is putting up a fight. But I think the same can be said on Ellsworth's side as well. What is Ellsworth going to do here? Just an insecurity, but it misses. Uh-oh. And whatever that is, is his finishing, and that might be it. One. Two. Three. Kid Karma defeats James Ellsworth. I can't even be mad at that match. What a match. Taking Ellsworth to the limit. Ellsworth being shown that he is not ready to 
have such an ego. But we're going to take this ego of his to main event, where we will be facing as we get back to the home screen. On main event, we face Baron Blade. Oh boy, this is uh, this is interesting. Triple H wants me to run in on any face superstar. Sorry, I'm. I don't want to get into a rivalry right now because I want that money in the bank briefcase. So we're gonna hope for a different uh, hope for a different route. So let's uh, let's get to the match against Baron Blade right now. And there is Baron. Blade. I believe he made his appearance, what, back in 2K15? I believe it was 2K15. Um, or maybe it was 14. I don't remember. It doesn't much matter. Anyway, he is back in 2K17. And he is taking on James Ellsworth. James needs a win here. He needs a win going to the Battleground pay-per-view. He doesn't have a major match or maybe not even a match at all as he starts with a running forearm. But, if he does have a match, he wants to make sure he has momentum going into the pay-per-view, because a pay-per-view win is huge. Uh-oh, there's a running... Oh my goodness, Seth Rollins is running out. I don't know who, he, who he's... If he's here to support or go against James Ellsworth. Right... Uh, whoa. Is he supporting Ellsworth? As Ellsworth goes to the pin there, I think Seth Rollins may be siding with James Ellsworth on this. Wow, this is very interesting. Not anything I would have expected, especially after the rivalry that those two had going back and forth. Seth Rollins refusing to allow or to accept the fact that Ellsworth got the upper hand in that rivalry. But now that Ellsworth did say that he chooses to side with the authority, I wonder if that may be an influence on Seth Rollins' decision making. As Baron Blade just pulls Ellsworth's head up. He doesn't want to pin Ellsworth right there. As I can't do any reversals right now for some reason. Baron Blade has no reversals. Why can't I do any... I need to I need to get in control right now. Now he has one. Damn it. Uh, get yeah. out of that Ow. way. And what is Ellsworth going to do here? He's going to... Do a snatch. Moves and Ellsworth does that, you know, is is what he has to keep doing as he Irish whips Baron Blade outside of the ring that he has to do to keep winning these matches or, you know, get a few wins in these matches. He goes for a diving elbow drop on the outside of the ring. And he's going to get Baron Blade up again. And what's he doing now? Is he's going to Irish whip Blade into the ring steps. He's gonna stomp on Blade or try to, going for a sliding D or a sliding uh, clothesline there, rolling back into the ring. Count of four. Seth Rollins staring down Blade right now. They're at a count of five. As Ellsworth is once again gonna get some more control here, a suplex to Baron Blade. I'm still shocked to find out that Seth Rollins has sided with Ellsworth, at least for the time being. Anything could happen. A week after the match, he can attack us. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm, I have as much uh, knowledge on this situation as you guys do. As we're going to Irish whip Baron Blade into the corner there. A knee, but doesn't connect. And we're going to reverse Blade there. And now he has no reversals. We go for a double arm suplex. Double underarm suplex, that is. Into a pin attempt. One, two. Only a two count. Ellsworth needs to stay on the offensive right here. Get Blade up. He's going for the half Nelson suplex. It connects. And now he's going to just stomp away at Blade right now. He just wants to save it to be sure that he... is absolutely down and out when he does use it. It's going to stomp away at Blade again, who also, who once again has zero reversals. So this, can, this is going to be in good hands for us right now. And, oh, just a su another suplex by Ellsworth. Ellsworth showing off some strength that it doesn't seem like he actually has, based on the way he looks, but you never should judge a book by its cover, as you see right here. Stomping away at Blade again. And a running forearm connects. Ellsworth is going. I think he's going to go for it. 
He's trying to go for the half Nelson suplex, but can't get it in a neck breaker. And Ellsworth rolling out of the ring as Blade now has a finisher in his back pocket. Ellsworth, or Blade is taunting. Ellsworth is able to drag Blade out of the ring, though. And that may give uh, uh, Ellsworth the uh, advantage that he needs right now. And Insegur to the back of the head. It's going to get Blade up here. Come on, come on, come on. There we go, Stamina. And a DDT on the outside of the ring. And Ellsworth is going to have to get back to his feet. Come on, dude. Your Stamina shouldn't be that low. I know. It's not that great. I haven't, up I haven't upgraded that as much as I possibly could. Ellsworth rolling back in the ring. That might be it. Is Blade down for the rest of the count? I think they're at a count of seven. What? 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 What's the ref doing? Oh, the ref is holding me back now. Dude, I wasn't even going outside of the ring, you son of a bitch. Running forearm, though. The ref tried to give Blade the advantage. And what is Ellsworth doing here? He just stole Baron Blade's own finishing move. I don't know what you call that. But he just stole it. And going for the cover here. One. Two. Three. And Ellsworth just beat Baron Blade with his own finishing move. He's like, you know what? You didn't want to see the Ellsworth driver? Fine. Look at your own move happen on you. Oh, that was... That was a that was a good match. A good match. Baron Blade did not use his reversals well. That's usually how I am. Ellsworth celebrating in the corner. He knew how big this win was going into the battleground pay-per-view. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. The next episode of My Career Mode will definitely be the pay-per-view. And we will see what Seth Rollins' intentions are going forward. Is he siding with Ellsworth? Or is he... I don't know... By the way, I just gotta say, I don't know why that Titantron's the way it is. I did not set it like that. But anyway, we will find out what Seth Rollins' intentions are going forward. And until next time, we'll guys have a great day or night or whenever you are watching this. And I will talk to you all later. Peace.